Good morning. It is 7.54 a.m. on uh, Monday, April 27th, 2020. I'm Christiana Ellis, and I've been up for a little bit. This is five more minutes. So when I say I've been up for a little bit, part of what I wanted to do was I woke up a little early, and so I wanted to duck into Animal Crossing real quick just to see if there was anything to see early in the morning because it's a time I don't usually play. Um, there wasn't really. I mean, there were some new things today, but nothing that needed to be there for the morning, per se. But, uh, in any event, uh, I ended up doing that longer than I originally planned, just because I ended up with a little puppy, uh, you know, sitting next to me, chewing on his <coughs> chew bone thing, and, uh, uh, seemed extremely contented to have me sit there on the floor with him while he chewed on his thing, and, uh, you know, to the point where he just... It's like, Rocket, what is best in life? And he says, you know, to chew on the chewy thing, getting it nice and gross and slimy while my mom sits next to me on the floor so I can rest my butt against her. Yep, that seems to be what he likes. Um, so that was very cute, and uh, so I didn't uh, feel like, uh, I, I felt like lingering in that for a little while, and it was very nice. Uh, I do actually have work to do today, and in fact, I need to uh, see he's mad now that I've, I, I had to finally get up and start moving. I do actually have to go into the office for a little bit today, not the whole day. Um, certainly not the same thing as what was going on a couple of weeks ago, but, um, uh, you know, so I'm going to be getting myself all dressed and ready and everything shortly here, but... Uh, um, let's see what else. I was feeling a little bit yesterday overbooked. And not in an extreme way, but just in this way that, like, even when every single item on the list is something that I enjoy and want to do and wouldn't want to give up, once I start getting to the point where I have a scheduled thing almost every day of the week, that starts to stress me out a little bit. I don't know how other people feel about that. I'm sure there are people for whom, if they don't have a plan for what they're planning to do every day, that stresses them out, and that's fine too. It makes me think of how, when I've gone on vacations with other people, um, and how everybody travels a little differently. Like, you have the people who definitely want to plan every minute of every day because they feel like, you know, we're only going to be in this place for a short amount of time. We want to make sure we get the optimum amount of, you know, we see all the things. And then you also have the people who just don't plan anything and just figure they'll figure it out. And I'm somewhere in the middle. I feel like I like to have a plan that you can then diverge from, right? Like, you don't necessarily, like, you might say, we're going to see if we can see these three things on this day. And if it turns out that you are enjoying something else more and decide to skip one of those things, totally fine. But it's, I, li I feel better having options, you know, like to say, well, we have these three things that are the plan. Now, what, what, you know, what else might we change it up? And that would be fine. Um, and I often, when making those sorts of plans, will literally build in time that is like, open. We will, we will find out what we want to do. Or we will take, like, walking around and just casually seeing things without any sort of a specific objective can be one of the things on the item, on the plan list, right? But, you know, obviously everyone's a little different. And I'm not, you know, no one's even the same from one day to the next sometimes, you know. But, uh, you know, certainly, I, you know, just thinking about it like, okay, well, I don't really have anything regular for Mondays, but I have my Tuesday night game of so many levels. I have a different game on Wednesday, a different game on Thursday, a game that I run on Saturdays, a game that runs every other Sunday, and then also recording for Survivor and or anything else that I might do with Mike, which we usually do on Sundays, and it just starts fizzing in my brain a little bit. But, you know, it's fine. All of those things, as I mentioned, all of those things are fun things, and they are things that I wouldn't want to give up, and I enjoy them all when I'm doing them, 
but I end up sometimes in between with that feeling of like, oh my gosh, too many things. I'm so busy. And it's like, busy is such a weird word. I feel like it really ought to only apply when it's things that you have to do that you don't really want to, but you have to anyway. And so that you literally don't have time for other things. But, and, and so in that context, I don't think it would apply, but your brain sometimes gets fooled. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there for right now, and I will talk to you all tomorrow for five more minutes.